Well, hey, Capricorns, it's Cardinal Signs Weekend, and that means you. And we are asking about relationships. And if you're interested in why, I'll tell you. Libra. We're getting a full moon in Libra. And we're going to look at what you learned over the past six months since the new moon in Libra. Which, Libra is about justice. You get that... Two of Cups energy in the Justice card, and so it could be any kind of relationship. We're going to find out which one from the Brady Tarot. Let's see. We are talking about a Seven of Wands. Power. It looks like a relationship with resistance involved. A battle. Seven of Wands is about defying other people's wills with your own. It has a lot of integrity to it. But here in this card, we actually see two old buffalo taking each other on on the battlefield. So, Capricorn, what kind of relationship of power are we talking about for you? Let's see. We have underlying energy, two cards. One, a very different kind of relationship. One of friendship, of celebration, and of reconciliation. Three of Cups. And then we also have a very uncomfortable Nine of Swords, or in this deck, Arrows, Anguish. So we can see this loss of the bald eagle, where her eggs cannot hatch because their shells are too skinny, too thin, skinny. <laughs> So we're talking about um, relations of power, and I feel like there's some kind of reconciliation with something that you're powerless over, actually. So this, this is a relationship where you are dealing with powerlessness, and the fact that you're having trouble accepting that and reconciling yourself to that and being friendly to it means that you're experiencing anguish. So let's see what advice the tarot would give you for dealing with this relationship of power or powerlessness. Let's see what we have. We have a dog having a nice little late lunch and some water, if you're hearing funny sounds in the background. Our metal dog himself, Ganymede. You'd far prefer us walking him right now. <clears throat> but I'm here doing your cards. Okay, so first we're going to ask, as I often do, what shall Capricorn release? Capricorn should, re should release a nine of materials. So this is like you've been on your own. It's self-sovereignty. It is that you make your own, you supply your own needs. Um, so that's not something... Those are things I want you to hold on to, but we'll find out. It could be somebody who is a nine of materials, someone who's really not available. Um, so let's we'll we'll keep looking. What should you embrace? You should embrace a loss. It's a five of emotions, a process of grief where you feel your feels. Your it's very very painful, and then when you're done feeling that, you turn towards the new emotional beginnings that are also right there for you. So that's um, what it, yeah, it does look like you're in a power struggle with somebody and you're having trouble with accepting that they're just off on their own. Um, it doesn't have to be a partner. It could be like um, a child, a, an adult child of yours or or some other relationship, though, where you've been trying to um, resist an ending here. Um, okay, well, what have you learned in the past six months? So Queen of Materials, she is the queen who knows her own worth. So if you've learned that, that's wonderful. This will help you go through this process of acceptance in this relationship. There's also always something kind of confrontational about this person. So if in the last six months, 
which we choose because six months ago we had a new moon in Libra, sign in part of, of relationships, also justice. So if you've been like confrontational, we can see how you're in kind of a power struggle. Um, we'll find out more. What's hidden from you that the tarot wants you to know? There is a need to heal four voices. It's a healing your mind. It's looking at your concepts and your ideas and looking at how they, um, you just, you, you go alone and examine them. So there's some kind of idea here. It's obviously causing you anguish because that's the same suit swords. Um, the future for Capricorn is two voices trying to make a decision. So there's still difficult. This is again, sword, your mind, truth. So you're, there's a way that you're going to go. You can see the door there. You're just not sure which way you're going to go, which truth you will, will choose to follow. Um, we'll see what we can find out going ahead, Capricorn. Okay. So underlying this, some really beautiful cards. Um, boy, um, <laughs> quite a bit. There's a quite a bit going on beneath your surface, Capricorn. Well, good for you. Well, there is some kind of change of fortune. I don't know why I'm having this. It, usually a, a, a wheel of fortune feels very positive for me. And, and we can see that it's turning towards beautiful Knight of Cups. We can see that there's a capacity to rise above your violence and to be your best self and to come from your heart here. We can see that there is some deep wisdom and some grace at handling the truth and at using the truth. We can see that there is true soulmate connection, celebration, friendship, and then we see a very, very painful ending, a Ten of Swords. And then this gets followed by a new beginning, a new emotional beginning, the Ace of Cups. So I see the Wheel of Fortune here. You've been favored, and now this pain comes in. But then the wheel keeps turning, and then there's a new emotional beginning. So it, it's coming into me as this, um, it's a long story here. It's a long power struggle. Strength being here makes me think about that, as, like that you've applied your will in, in this. You've been graceful and you've learned how to be honest and speak the truth. Like you've been yourself, you've been, you've been beautiful here. And then the Ten of Voices, it's like so dramatic and sudden. Um, and then the wheel turning again, you know, yeah, it's a, it's a long story. I feel like it's at least a six month story. Um, so let's find out, let's clarify what's going on here with the Capricorn. So you need to release this nine of materials. It's coming in for me as somebody else, but let's see. Because I think sovereignty, self-sovereignty is is um, not something to let go of. But let me see what the tarot says. Okay, so there's some dishonesty. So this could be a person who, in order to be autonomous, they're not direct. They're, so there could be... Uh, let's see what else. There's a kind of emotional immaturity, but also kind of sweetness. The fox is sweet too. I always like that little fox. And then there's the conflict and fighting. Hmm. It looks that what this really does look like a relationship where somebody is keeping the truth. Somebody's immature emotionally and there's a lot of fighting and this has to do with a battle over self-sovereignty and autonomy within a relationship 
and the fact that there's a daughter of cups like it, it again has like it's almost like a mom and a teenage daughter kind of um energy here and so this fighting this other person's self-sovereignty it's like they're resisting something that really they have a right to resist they're they're coming of age like if they're growing up and you know they're ready to be on their own if it's a partner is there somebody here that you're fighting with over i think their self-sovereignty they're not telling you everything they're immature maybe you're immature there's some keeping of secrets um and that's why it feels like a, a young person um so you need to release that and you need to release this person whoever comes to your mind as i'm talking about this to their autonomy and their self-sovereignty then there's some loss there's some grief that comes with um with letting that go because this is this is what it's feeling like very dramatic <laughs> there's like a lot happening in the thunder above these bison are just butting heads they're the same size you know they're equal they're equally powerful uh, so that's so okay this is the part that where we look at this anguish and and that's another reason why i think of a kid like because of those eggs and like you might be feeling you might be anxious like they're not grown up enough they're not fully formed or something like that the duckling here suggests they are young but you're, all you can do here capricorn is accept the passageway that is the grieving process there's some changing of your mind here these swords are your thoughts you have to put them down and walk towards the light towards the rainbow towards justice then we have this is the same card here reconciliation so this advice here is going to help you reconcile with whoever this is and at least the three of cups makes me think of friendship so it's like there is this emotional new beginning it's um it's felt like this this is the pain that that has come here um yeah same card five of cups clarifying the five of cups hmm. yeah we just see you embracing grief here and in the process of embracing it you reconcile yourself to it to what has changed and you accept you accept difficult truths i'm sorry i am sorry this is hard so you've learned over the past six months to be like this so let's see sorry there's some neighbors playing music out there if you're hearing that okay there is wealth and abundance of ten of pentacles practical earthy energy some control limited small world view very different from the ten of pentacles and empress there's plenty about your sovereignty here as well you this is interesting as i'm doing these readings like this is what you learned over the past six months so you know what this is when i tell you about it right better than i do so we see so like the nine of pentacles this is your release is that is often referred to as the empress in waiting so here's the empress right this is queen of queens um queen of materials is a different kind of queen i always call her the security queen and i see that here with the four of pentacles so there's a kind of lack of um abundance that she is is showing up here with but you have learned also I, to be the queen of your own life to be the empress to recognize your abundance to know your worth 
that's really clear here, but there's also a little behavior that you want to look at. And, and this is a, that Libra is here coming in with the full moon. You've learned, you've come a certain way in knowing your worth. But well, I kind of think about like when I first learned how to set boundaries and even still, like I can be a little hardcore about how I set boundaries, a little bit confrontational and it's difficult for people, but I am protecting my self sovereignty. So that's either you or this other person, this other little nine of pentacles, who's the empress in waiting. So, so we can see that control of four of pentacles would be something that would, would be an immature expression of, of the empress energy. And so maybe you have learned how to be the empress and the sovereign of your own life. And from that, you can recognize that this person that you're battling with, as if you're equal powers, you're in all this battle of wills in the, in the seven of wands here, that you're, you might consider that they're younger and newer at this, um, and that there could be some generosity here in this. And so that may be what you've learned. There's something like that going on here. So you know, you tell me, okay? What's hidden from you though is a four of swords. So this is going alone by yourself and examining your ideas to heal your mind. And it feels to me like this reconciling with this anguish with the facts, like coming to terms with reality. But let's see. So there's the emperor. This is the planner, the structure, structural power. Tra I was going to say tradition. So it feels like a parental authority um, or a, an authority figure. Very bossy. Um, <laughs> then there's the father of swords. This is... Uh, the king of the mind, the intellect, and it has and the, this father of swords has this beautiful rainbow sword. They they have learned to use the sword with justice. Again, that's our Libra energy here to use the truth with the heart with justice. That's that's what we see in our underlying energy. That strength energy. And thirdly. Mother of Wands, Queen of the Law of Attraction. She's very protective of her eggs. So this is what you need to heal, okay? There's a lot of authority and power here. There's a kind of protectiveness of your young combined with a... That Father of Swords is coming in as like certainty that my truth is correct. But because it's under the four of voices, which is you you need to look at your ideas, perhaps, as a way of healing them, I think you're not aware that there is another way to look at things. It's like two bullheaded people here that are just butting heads. And you don't see that. You don't see that your ideas are equally and, you know, that you have a choice in what's true. You think, Capricorn, it's coming in that you feel so certain of your truth and that you have a right and a responsibility to protect this young. This it feels very much like you don't see this person. Like sometimes, like I think I said a few minutes ago, you see them as equal, but they're, you have a 10, they have a four. They're a, a nine of, they're an empress in waiting. You're an empress, um, so you're you're confronting an equal, um, as if this person is your equal. But then we see you don't actually realize that your what you need to look at is your absolute certainty that you have better access to the truth than they. Instead of think realizing that two. Com completely different truths can coexist and that the barrier to you guys getting along is your refusal to acknowledge like, well, you could be right. Um, 
you are 18, you are a grown up. Um, uh, so, so you could be saying something like, well, I'm the parent, I'm always gonna be worried about, about them. Oh, look, there's justice on the bottom. Card of Libra. So this is where you need work. It's hard to shift into this because it's relatively new that you've had this clear sense of yourself and your values. And they're very earthly. They're very practical. Capricorn is earth sign. You're, um, so there's a very real practicality and authority to you. The other thing we, we might consider astrologically, Pluto has just left Capricorn for Aquarius. Pluto is going to come back and visit you, but you've been having Pluto, the planet of transformation, really ripping through you for a long time, for years. And so we're we we're seeing this in the world, and we, we, you might be feeling it in your in yourself. Um, the Father of Swords is Aquarius, so that is where Pluto currently has gone um, to revolutionize our our thoughts, our humanitarian impulses. Um, so if you're feeling like you really got grounded and you you learned that lesson with Pluto in Capricorn, now there's a new lesson. It's and it's in air. It's in your thoughts. It's in Aquarius. Um, it's in your concepts and what you know to be true. And so it's, um, and it's like another way to look at this 10 of voices is like, yeah, it, it feels like you have to let go of a relationship, but also you can see how it's the ideas, it's the swords, it's the truths, that this is what is really hurting you. And when you let go of something, then you get this new emotional beginning possibly with this other person, you know, especially if they're your kid or yeah, it's somebody you're having a battle of wills with. Okay. So in the future, we see still a decision. Um, two truths are kind of, it could be their truth and your truth, right? Uh, there's just one truth. So one truth prevails. And then there's the two truths. <laughs> okay, let me see how we can read this. One more card. Ooh, three. Mind and heart at odds. Very, very painful. Huh. That's so interesting. In the future, the truth is that this battle between you and this other person of, of what's right and what's true is just causing you pain. It's causing obsession. Um, yeah, we actually still see that in the future. Uh, we see, um, a bunch of little things. Let's see. Good. This is good. So this is, um, fellow Cardinal Cancerian energy, the chariot, a lot of momentum. This is coming in for me. A lot is like this feeling that there's this almost physical conflict of ideas and willpowers. And there's a need to change your perspective in the hangman. You're going to be stuck here until you see something from the other person's position is what I think. Um, and it's going to take some work. You're going to have to do some work. Not, it's not going to come easily. And you're not gonna, and you have to do this work. Like I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know where I'm gonna end up. It's about this four of voices. What's hidden from you? You have to examine your truths. We're all doing it. It's coming up in all the readings. But you, you know, it's not gonna be quick. You're not gonna be like, oh, boom, I'm out of the hangman. You're stuck, even though. You're in the chariot and you want to move forward with your willpower, then the hangman's like, eh, you need to do some work. And it's going to be work where it's like planting bulbs before a freeze and then the snow. And then are they going to live? Like there's, there's not certainty. And then we begin to see 
that you can work well with others to make something real in the world. You can see that rainbow color. That's that color in this deck of justice, of finding the new perspective. Um, it's less black and white. It's stark and stark and more in, into the spectrum of color and the spectrum of possibilities. Um, and there you are. You have the one truth. There, your young one is. It's a young self or a young person in your life who has that truth, um, an open-mindedness. So this, um, the possibility lies ahead. And what these cards want you to know is they don't actually think you Capricorn are going to be convinced by this reading to change your mind. They see you in the future still locked in this kind of battle. One idea must eclipse the other. And then it's very painful. Um, you do have the choice with the Two of Swords. Also, it's about a choice between... <laughs> reconciliation and friendship and love and anguish. With the eggs broken. It's like a broken relationship. So the the way out, Capricorn, is for you to do some work, like therapy or step work, or there's some kind of do this step, then do this step. There's some work, and you have to do it full of faith. Because the hangman's holding you upside down and stuck in this power struggle anyway, you might as well do the work. When you do it, justice comes into you. And you can see the, I think this is the other person, this is the person you're struggling with. You can, you can see their truth without it threatening you um, somehow. And when you, when you do that, I think you'll feel free. And you'll come up for air from these emotional depths, which are feeling like, gosh, the problem is in my mind. It's really, really hard to, to see out of the constructs that you arrange your life by Capricorn. And you might need help. I don't see um, the Hierophant or some kind of mentor here, but I do see you doing... Actually, I see you going alone in the Four of Voices um, to examine your thoughts and your truths. The fact that I don't see you getting out of this, and when I look at the future, you know, maybe next month we'll see you have enlisted help. Um, but don't wait on the tarot. Um, try something different. Um, this doesn't have to be your future. If you exert your will, in accordance with the divine, if you find the perspective shift that the hangman says you're gonna, we're waiting for, if you do the seven of pentacles labor based on faith, we can see that something really lovely will happen between you and this person that you're struggling with. And it will lead to the reconciliation of the three of cups, as well as the working together in a constructive and very earthy and practical way of the Three of Pentacles. We see the Three of Cups is here twice and follows. You must first release these ideas before you get to justice. And it doesn't see you doing that. It sees you sad. Um, and you can embrace that sadness until you're ready to change your mind. I hope you'll work on releasing these truths that you hold so dear so that you can have this dear person um, close in your life again. So Capricorn, it's not a, a super easy message, but I think it's a really valuable one. And um, do let me know. All right. Take care.